Imagine a world where everyone but you is frozen in time, and you don't know why. A lame Twilight Zone episode? Well, yes, but it's also what happened on Saturday, February 23rd, 2008, at the Barry Ucan Metro. There, about 50 to 60 people stood perfectly still while others circled around them taking photographs. It wasn't part of some university art project or political protest. They were doing this purely out of fun. The simultaneous five-minute freeze was the first public prank put together by a loose organization of Montrealers who wanted to replicate the success of a New York-based group called Improv Everywhere. Improv Everywhere has been performing non-demeaning, head-turning pranks in public places since 2001. Its missions tend to involve getting a large group of people to act unusually together, pretending they don't know each other and that everything is normal. Undercover agents film the innocent bystanders' reactions. Among their more popular missions involved dozens of people in blue polo shirts and khakis walking into a Best Buy, confusing customers who mistook them for store employees. The group also organizes an annual No Pants Day, where commuters enter a subway train without pants in the middle of winter, acting as if there's nothing wrong with that. Improv Everywhere, whose motto is We Cause Scenes, has recently become an online hit, with followers all around the world trying to replicate their success locally. A recent stunt, Frozen at Grand Central, has become a huge hit internationally, with dozens of groups all around the world trying to copy it. The idea is simple. A large bunch of people stand frozen for five minutes in a public place. Though suggestions of Montreal-based missions have been passed around for years, this was the first time a large group has actually managed to pull one off, thanks to word of mouth, Facebook, and local blogs. Participants, most of whom had never met before, gathered outside the station before the prank to receive their marching orders. At exactly 6.15 p.m., one agent would yell the name of another, and that would be the signal for everyone to freeze in place. Five minutes later, at 6.20, they would unfreeze and continue their lives as normal. Most people just stood there. This group froze while consulting a fold-out map. This guy froze while drinking from a soda bottle. This guy got here late, but figured he'd join in anyway. It didn't take long before commuters started noticing something strange was going on. Some took pictures with their cell phones. Others asked what the protest was all about. Many laughed. Others just walked by confused on their daily commute. As the clock struck 6.20, the crowd unfroze and then spontaneously burst into applause before heading back outside for a post-mortem. The verdict? Mission accomplished. Stay tuned to the local Improv Everywhere page and the Facebook group for news of future pranks. I'm Steve Faggy. Thanks for watching.